WLKY's Tim Elliott caught up with drivers armed with shovels and scrapers trying to make their way to work. He's live now at 4th and Magnolia in Old Louisville. And Tim, we know you loved the snow this morning. How are other people liking it today? Well, you heard Mayor Fisher kind of allude to it there, Alexi, in that news conference. He said it was probably a rough morning for a lot of people here in the metro, and he's right. And it was a difficult commute yesterday, but probably a little tougher today because people they actually had off of work yesterday. People had to return to work today, and that meant they had to dig out those cars that were buried under all that snow. Not a fun process. So we drove around all Louisville, old Louisville all morning long today, looking for people who needed some help. And boy, did we have our work cut out for us. We came across. One woman who was spitting out as she tried to leave her parking spot. She was already late for work. After a little push, though, we sent her on her way. Then there was Eric Reynolds. All he had was a lot of uh, snow on his car and just an ice scraper to get it off. You can bet that he was there for quite some time. And finally, there is 68 year old Calvin Baker. Calvin was using a dirt shovel to dig out his car. He did have some uh, wise words to share with us this morning, though. Take a listen. I like the snow. I don't like to dig snow, but I like the snow. Well, you can always put more clothes on. Take it off? No. You might get locked up. <laughs> So as you can see, Calvin can find the humor in this very snowy situation. And as I said earlier, a lot of people struggling to get out of these parking spots today. We, come, we came across plenty of people spinning out their tires, too. My suggestion is if you see some people having difficulty with all this snow, all this weather, uh, and you have the time and you can spare the effort, why not stop off and help your fellow neighbor? Reporting live from Old Louisville, Tim Elliott, WLKY News. All right, people very grateful that they have some good Samaritans out there.